And we're back! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Eagle Rockets US Open for Overwatch. <laughs> we're gonna be starting up here with the next two teams being, uh, who are we working with, Luke? Looks like we got level zero coming in today, doing a real good job. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing a good job at right now, but they're, they're on <laughs> fire right now! They are absolutely on fire! I haven't, seen, <laughs> I haven't seen anything like it. Sitting in the Discord, I mean, I, it's, it's insane. You know, the work and the dedication it takes to get through there. <laughs> I mean, they, they were talking, they were preparing a long time for this day, and they just really want to show what they're made of. They really Very want true. to show our, our other team. Speaking of our other team, who, who we got going, Nico? Looks like we got the New England Whalers, correct? The New England Whalers, that is correct. Uh, we haven't, I haven't seen what either of these teams can do. I'm really excited. Um, we're probably going to see a good match here. I, I think so. It looks like we're going to be starting with control again. It's yep, going to be, be starting with control on Li Zhang Tower. Let's talk about that last game before mm -hmm. we get started here. Uh, Com Stompers, they really just, they held on. Mm -hmm. You know, they set up that defense, and they said, nobody's coming through here, and they held it. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. You know, they just had a really good team comp going. And I really hope Level Zero and New England Whalers were watching that last match to really just start to try and think of things to, how to tackle those kind of situations to just try and break through those exactly. I'm, multiple I'm, shields coming from the enemy team. I'm really excited for the semifinals. We're going to see how well these guys are adapting. And how they're gonna how they're gonna come together to stomp the comps yep. of the other stomp team. The comp. <laughs> I think we're all kind of rooting to stomp the comp today. Very true. All right, let's get started here with the New England Whalers Heroes and never Levers, die. level zero. And we'll be entering game. Looks like we will be now at Yijong Tower. Down Tower again with that control. Level zero, New England Whalers. They are ready, warmed up. We'll like see the kind of comps chat in here. So the GLHF's coming in. Good luck, have fun, everybody. That's the most important part. You know, we've been seeing a lot of a uh, lot of salt in Overwatch these past few months, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that these teams are really coming together in a sense of camaraderie. Jeff Kaplan, save us all. <laughs> uh, but let's not forget why we are really here, Luke. While we may be here for an Overwatch tournament, this is also a charity stream where exactly. all donations are going to be sent to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Seattle. And if you guys do want to donate, feel free. We will continue to send those donations over to St. Jude's. Nothing but the best here today. We just want to see some good Overwatch. Want to see some good Overwatch for a good cause. Exactly. And there it is, the mutual destruction that is the inside of any Overwatch dropship. Interestingly enough, I see no one trying to make those basketball shots anymore. Uh, I think people have given up, Luke. It's just not as special anymore when you can use Symmetra to laser it right in. And we're getting started here. Capture the objective. Level zero pushing right through, hoping to hit him right up front. And there it is, an immediate push right in the middle. We're gonna see some crazy stuff here, Luke. Looks like both teams ganging up in that corridor. Red team just kind of stuck behind that Reinhardt shield, showing them that they just really have control of that one area. And it looks like blue team just not ready to go in there all at once. Reinhardt just getting that pick beautiful on Noter. Taking down Noter with that, with that hammer strike. And it looks like the melee is broken up as red team is trying to push itself back. And looks like the New England Whalers are going to hold that point. Beautiful play from them, shoving them back through that corner, not able to let them get any space in there. You know, it's very smart of level zero. You know, they they took the hits, they lost somebody, and they immediately backed up, not ready to lose the rest of their team or any time. Bonji right now just doing amazing amounts of damage. Already used one full spawn back up to almost 50% already. Getting ready Down goes Raven. One, doing huge damage. Looks like that Zarya bubble is really holding up there. The uh, Zarya's are both charged up pretty strong and already popping that ult from Autumn Solace. With that gravity bomb just going, sucking them all in. Beautiful job combining those two together right now. Laura you know, you don't see that often. You never see a Graviton Surge mixed with a Moira ult. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like we should see it. Especially a lot more in this, in this comp. Definitely. It looks like right now we do have any ready with that same exact ultimate. It looks like they are building up. I wouldn't be surprised here if a Nigerian tank came in with that sound barrier. Dropping that Earth Shatter, grabbing their initial tank. 
unfortunately, he's not using that sand barrier. It looks like he might be holding it. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, she with that amazing pulse bomb on Noter. Raven taking out. somebody down as well with that rip tire. Looks like the blue team is really trying to spawn camp him here. New England Whalers just shoving them back into that ship, not allowing them to get anywhere near that point right now. And I just think they need to really focus on making sure they stay together and somehow get a pick in there before they all just go in. And I want to see Nigerian D-Man come here with down barrier to try and come in. It looks like he still has not pulled that bolt in the top yet. Hammer down there from NJV. Nigerian Hitting with that charge, down. not gonna see what's going on here. Graviton Surge holding him in, are they gonna make it huge? Looks like they're gonna take advantage of those ults, and looks like the level zero is gonna push right onto the point. What a Breaking that 93% hold. Oh, not if Lycan has anything to say about it. Trying to hold that point by himself, getting up to that 99%, doing whatever he can to make sure they don't lose that first objective, allowing a team to get time back to come there. Looks like they might be able to just continue to hold that overtime. Wow, look at those Graviton Surges, Blizzards, everything dropping in a Pulse Bomb that brings down four people at once! It looks like we just saw four ultimates going off there at once, doing amazing work with that crowd control right The now. New England Whalers are going to hold on to that point, they're gonna break that overtime, and team kill! We're gonna see if the level zero can get on in time, and no! First point! Goes to the New England Whalers. What an intense round! I, that was the wow. most ultimates I think I've ever seen in a single round. That was really, really intense. New England Whalers are doing a great job forcing them back into that drop ship, not allowing them to get in there until that last push from level zero. I really like that last push they had there. Unfortunately, just not able to secure that point, not getting Lycan off of it. Uh, you know, they're putting themselves in precarious situations, Luke. They keep finding themselves in small hallways where they can be easily pincered by the New England Whalers, and they just gotta keep themselves from getting in that kind of position. They really gotta worry about Mochi coming in with those pulse bombs. I think he has three that round alone. You really gotta worry about that in such a tight space and just getting those beautiful kicks on those tanks. True, we gotta watch out for that Moira as well. Mech has been really holding on to those ults, getting them rather quickly, especially for a healer. Both of them rushing the point as fast as they can. Looks like the Whaler's gonna be first on top. And there it comes once again, putting him in that position to get pincered by the Tracer. It's gonna be another weird spot for them. They're in a bad place, and down goes two sound This guy! There oh we go! God, what a beautiful play, knocking two players off. Mech jumping third off, Lazulus going Four off. Members of level zero going down over that edge. Unsure of what exactly just happened to their entire team. You know, the New England Whalers are used to pay taking care of whales. They're they're ready for big tasks like this. <laughs> Drink your water, Luke. I am thirsty, and I am having fun. And once again, there it is, that Tracer really grabbing that pincer movement. Like I said, they keep putting themselves in these strange predicaments. I get finally going down. There he goes, the initial tech up. moving. Fire in the hole from Raven, bringing down four oh gosh, more Raven. of level zero. 54 man rip tire, beautiful play coming from him. Man, <laughs> I, cannot I agree with that. the chat, nerf junk rat. What an incredible ultimate. They're really pulling off these crazy ults. It's gonna be a hard, hard figuring out who's gonna win play the game this time. And it looks like they're coming zero. up right over the top, dropping in. Trying to come in with that sneak attack from above. Splitting up once again. Lycan with his ultimate coming down, knocking NJP over, getting that other Reinhardt out, saying, I am the dominant Reinhardt here. Monchi taking out that Junkrat, saying, Pushing I don't want your rip tire either. Right into the point, trying to get any kind of foothold here. The New England Whalers are not having it. They say, you thought this was your house, but it's ours. Unfortunately, losing this not able to deal enough damage, not get any of those pivotal hooks on that Roadhog. And there it is, you know, honestly, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but I really think they need to focus on their heavy hitters. Now, what, you, what I want you to notice right now is level zero, it is getting close to that point capture. Here and comes that Rip Tire again from Noter. Four ultimates available for them. I would not be surprised Whoa! to see a huge play here right now. Going down and taking that Reinhardt shield down to over half health. Lycan really is the Iron Giant, holding together and putting together a solid defense. Nothing gets by him. Rip tires, people, doesn't matter. Taking that area. Like it is oh, dealing the damage. With that Earth Shatter, he might use it right here. No, he's saying, NJV, I am still the dominant Reinhardt. I got my Earth Shatter using it alone. Take Dropping in there, area. grabbing Lazulus. 
bringing him down, and that looks like it's gonna be round two going to the New England Whalers. Beautiful map, you guys. I cannot believe how how good of a job New England Whalers. Oh, what an incredible round! You know, and level zero, they're no chumps. You can see the solid defense there that would work at any other time, but New England Whalers just knows how to get around that. There it comes, that pulse bomb. Four man pulse bomb. Four man pulse bomb. You don't see that too often, Luke. Beautiful play right there. They are incredible zoners. You know, level zero tries to put themselves in a, in a good situation where they can hold on, but it doesn't do anything against the Whalers. They say, no, you're not staying there. Send in Tracer. Push them away from their hallways, get them into the open, split them apart, and then after that, it's just cleanup. Level Zero doing a really good job of sticking together, but unfortunately just scattering out in the middle of team fights. Just unfortunately not playing around their ultimates to try and utilize those to make the match theirs, unfortunately. Just not able to get those picks they really need on those healers. Very true. I, I just, I'm, I'm blown away by the amount, the level of teamwork, and just the, just the, the knowledge of the space that they're working in. Monchi doing a great job, really, just keeping them pinned down in those areas. Man, we're never going to make it to map three like this. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I really hope that level zero tries to come out with maybe something new or some new ideas to try and take care of Monchi's beautiful tracer. Very true. That tracer is popping in there right around the side. I don't think they punished that tracer that whole time. She'd jump in, yep. drop a pulse bomb, maybe grab a couple with her, with her pistols, and the next thing you know, she's... And Gone again. Lycan just really showing his dominance over NJV's Lycan, what an just, incredible play from him. He is the Iron Giant. He is the Iron Giant. Super exactly. man. <laughs> yeah, and Rip Tire coming in from, from the other team, noted and dropping it in, and he just knows exactly where it's going to be. He says, this Rip Tire is coming right for me. As soon as it touched down, ready to blow, whip, brought that shield around, keeping himself alive. I, I, I've never seen a Reinhardt move so succinctly before. And with such know-how. Yep, really utilizing that Earth Shatter for those huge game-making plays to make sure they do not lose of that objective whatsoever. Yeah, what can what can uh, what can level zero do to really pull bring this back? You know, I really want to see Luzulus kind of pick himself up from that game. It looks like he was a, he was having a really hard time on that road ho road hog. And yeah, that hook was giving it just wasn't giving him enough time really, to pull them in. I don't know if he wants to stick with that character. It might be his main. It might not be. But if he wants to continue that road hog, he's really got to focus on getting those hooks to pick off possibly that tracer that's so pivotal against a really good tracer is landing those hooks on her and just shutting her down early to not allow that pincer just constantly affecting them over and over again. Well, you know the pincers. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty, a pretty potent move there. It really is. But we're gonna pop over to break while we get this last set figured out here for round two of Level Zero and the New England Whalers. And we're back. Few technical difficulties, but we've got everything sorted out here, and we're gonna get back together here to watch Level Zero and the New England Whalers go at round two. I really want to see Level Zero just come out here strong, trying to show New England Whalers that they're really just not going to go down without a fight. Yeah, they really need to watch that pincer movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, they've got a really solid offense, but they've just they really got to watch their back ends. Yep, round two coming up is going to be Assault. We will be going switching that game type around. Hopefully it'll work a little bit better for Level Zero to try and show their dominance over this really aggressive Very team. true. You never know. I have a team that I play with, and... Honestly, we're incredible on offense. Defense is a whole nother story. <laughs> but we're going to see how they come together here, and maybe they'll be a little better than I am. Perhaps. All right, well, let's get these guys started up, and the new brackets have been seated, and everything yep. should be going according to plan. Yep. And we're going to go right back down to the game and see how this all pans out. Looks like we will be Coming in to Horizon, Horizon or Colony. Colony. Colony with the Assault Map. <laughs> Don't talk to me about assault. Overwatch doesn't need any more of that. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited here to see how uh, what Lazulus is going to change to that. Roadhog didn't really work out too well, but you could tell he was really getting those hooks, but with very little effect. Mm -hmm. That hook time, is that animation is just a little too long. And uh, the New England Whalers just really took advantage of it. And let us know in the chat who is going to come above on this specific round. Will we see level zero take it to a game three, or are we going to see New England Whalers just end it right here, sending them straight to the semifinals? 
Well, I'm sorry, they will be in the finals, actually, according to our bracket. The winner of this team will be going on to the finals, not even having to deal with semifinals, fortunately. So this match really does mean a lot for these two playing teams. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. The attackers are going to be incoming here in 30 seconds. If you're listening to the lady on the, on the loudspeaker, Autumn Souls walking right up to the front. Not sure what she's doing over here. Let's take a look. Hello. Looks like she's just coming over to say hello. And Noter has left the game. We might have to stop this here. Uh, I think somebody, uh, somebody dropped out there. Go ahead and pause. Uh, we're gonna have to put this one on pause. Let's see what's going on with Noter there, just for a second here. <laughs> Bit of technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us here as we try and get the Whalers and Level Zero back together for a good fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bit of a had another bit of a of a. What, is, what do you call that, Luca? Time uh, Warner cabled. <laughs> Somebody is obviously on Time Warner cable. But uh, now we've got all the teams in here, and hopefully we're not going to have anybody drop from internet connections. And uh, we'll get this last round going. And someone's already left the game. See if he can hopefully get back into the game before this game does start. We might have to continue to push on. All right, Raven is calling for no pause. And uh, we're going to get Manchi back in here. There he goes, they're back, and the defenses are ready to be prepared. Less than three indeed. All right, let's see this comp we got going on here. Wow, Manchi actually switching from his usual tracer. Looks like he's going with the McCree this round. Uh, we're going to see if that pays off for him. You know, He doesn't have that same mobility that he has as tracer. But it might be, uh, it might be just enough to keep the, uh, keep level zero at bay. Quite literally, possibly in bay two. <laughs> and once again, we have Autumn Souls walking right up to the front door to say, howdy do, how are you? Autumn Souls really might just be looking for a pick. Straight as the game starts, looks like we will be going here in about 10 seconds. Looks like he does hear them through the walls, ready to just throw out the door. No, it looks like he go. is going back, Five, joining his team again, four, maybe just trying to get three, a little future two, intel for them, one, throwing out the damage or heading back around his team. Thank you, Mr. Diego GG, for that follow. And we get right back into the match. Level Zero pushing right up on the uh, left side here, trying to push into that room. They could find themselves in another pincer movement position here. Well, not with that McCree, though. Not really able to steal that amount of crowd control like the Tracer. Raymond oh, there he goes, bringing down Noter. Autumn Souls. But Noter getting grabbed. No more DPS coming in from with, level zero. With one of their healers down, though, it might be a little hard to hold the point. NJV going down as well. Reinhardt going down. He's going to have to walk all the way back. Looks like, MEQ. Looks like they're backing Super him right into the health. corner, splitting them up. Once again, the Whalers are just tearing right through them like wet tissue paper. Things coming in from both sides just over and over again. Looks like Level Zero is not able to move up and try and secure any dominance over that first objective. Just trying to spread out as much as they can. Be a little bit of splash damage. Zarya trying to use those shields to maybe gain a little bit of charge on her abilities to deal that increased damage. Trying to build up that ultimate maybe to make a play here. At, sitting at 88%. Not sure exactly what they're going to do with that. Looks like they are going in the same exact direction right now. Coming up, trying to get on that point again. NJ's Dropping in that trip tire. Where is it going to go? Who's going to grab? Noter grabbed again. Right off the get-go. Hammer down Earth Shatter on there with a high noon. We're going to see how this all plans out. Everybody's popping ults. There's that sound barrier. Coalescence already used. Transcendence being dropped. It's ultimates left and right. An Earth Shatter with nobody to take care of. Level Zero doing a great job here. Rodok getting that hook onto Mochi. There it goes. Perfect hook. Definitely. And it looks like this fight might just go to level zero as they push through with their first tick. And I was telling you earlier, Gohan definitely using that Roadhog, exactly what we needed to shut down that Monchi from getting any sort of consistent damage. Looks like there's a bunch of them around. Yep, this guy going down. And that's, and that's Good objective, objective A. Good from level zero. Securing that first objective A, moving on to objective B, seeing what they can do. Looks like they're gonna move right up the center, hit him right in the nose, 
With 5 minutes 44 on the clock, level 0 pushed right through. Looks like they're a lot better at offense than defense here, bud. Whoa, and down goes Lazulus again, but he brings down Raven. Graviton Surge being dropped. Roadhog's ultimate. There's Coalescence. It's just an ultimate festival here. NJP doing a really good job showing Lycan that he is not just a paperweight. Oh, and there's Raven trying to pull off the same tracer movements from the last game that Manchi was doing. And they push away level zero, leaving him with no ticks to speak of. All the way back towards that first deck. Hey, they're just going to have to regroup. The Iron Giant Lycan pushing forward saying, I'm unkillable. You can't stop me here. Already at 90% getting ready for his ultimate ability. You got there, you've got Zenyatta and uh, Moira and McCree on with those ults. No ults on level zero. We're gonna see if uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna tear him apart with these three saved ults. Whoa, and down goes Autumn Solace. No time to pop that coalescence ult as they tear through the upper levels. High noon being let go, Manchi firing away, not grabbing at anything. Maybe chipping away at Reinhardt's shield a bit. Earth Shatter from Earth Shatter from Lycan, the Iron Giant. He's going, no, there is only one Reinhardt here, and that's me. Graviton Surge being opened up there, bringing them all in the center. Looks like level zero is going to try to hold here, but Noter's not going to be able to give him the tick that they so desperately need right now. New England Whaler showing exactly what they are made of, holding this objective B, showing that objective A was just a mistake, and they will definitely not let them get any amount of percentage up on this second objective here. Lazulus poking his head in, say, how do you do? Gonna see if they punish him for his boldness. Get into position. And there it is, setting up a solid offense here to push on through. Gonna see if it's gonna be enough. Mech and Noter both having their ults ready. Manchi, Metopia, and this guy still holding on to theirs. on that Mora is holding his ultimate ability along with Noter, ready to use it at any moment. Lycan made the switch to Winston. Strange choice for him, you know? Maybe he's just trying to switch it up. I'm sure what he's trying to plan with that, maybe the Reinhardt was just not working for him earlier and trying to maybe mix things up a little bit. Catch New England Whalers off guard with this pick. NJV jumping in. Monchi just getting those single picks on them, just doing a great job. And there they go again, breaking them apart with another pincer movement. This guy is getting a pick on these healers. Lycan dropping in to say no to your healers and no to your Winstons. And back they run back towards that objective. A was really needed to group up. And we just see New England Whalers doing a great job of holding those, now, those points. Now, you never know here, Luke. They may be doing so well that their heads get too big. Exactly. This might, this could possibly result in their downfall. We do see five ultimates available from New England Whalers. They are ready with anything. We do see Red Team at level zero trying to make a play here. Looks like they might just be waiting for that opportune moment. We do only have about two minutes left. Coming off the and there they go, side. pushing it on the point. Graviton Surge being dropped by the Zarya. Autumn Souls popping the Coalescence as well. There he goes, Lycan jumping in with a primal rage. It's ult after ult after ult with these teams, Luke. I've never seen so many ults popped in one game in my life. It just goes to show that you're working with real professionals here. They're good at what they do, and they're strong as hell. But when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, there's going to be a little bit of damage here. And it looks like the unmovable object is going to be the Whalers. Level zero, just unfortunately not able to break that huge wall coming in from the New England Whalers. It's a wall of death, and they can't do anything about it. Get into position. You see four ultimates available now from level zero. Dropping that pulse bomb already, not grabbing anybody. Bit of a waste of that pulse bomb there. Should have saved that for a, a, a better position. You see them coming There's back Coalescence. They're trying to push them back into their points. And experiencing tranquility from this Transcendence time. and High Noon being dropped. Manchi leaving it. Self-destruct popping, not grabbing anybody. 60 seconds remaining. The Iron Giants here of the, of the New England Whalers really holding their own. I, I haven't seen a defense this strong since 96, back before Overwatch was even invented. <laughs> 
And there they go, pushing on in. Raven grabbed, pushing yourself into a corner. Bad move. Lazulus, NJV, and Gohan, NJV and Gohan 11 pushing in on the side. Coming them all back to their spawn point. Coalescence pushing job. through. Primal Rage coming out. Like it is saying, get off of my point. Coming back in, seeing if you can keep them off that point. Looks like they are going to try and secure that objective. Transcendence being used, trying to keep everybody alive. There is the nerf this. NJV sacrificing himself to keep that ult from bringing down the rest of them. Manchi hitting me mech and Gohan 11's me uh, actual mech. And it looks like this round has been wrapped up neatly, tied with a little book for the New England Whalers coming out on top. Great job from level zero, at least securing that first objective A, super important. So if they can try and hold off the New England Whalers from ever securing that first objective, we might see this go to a round three. Switching sides. And we're gonna be switching sides here. We're gonna see if level zero has a more solid defense than they do offense. And we do see Lazulus immediately Picking that <laughs> Widowmaker. Immediately grabbing that Widow. He's ready for these picks. He He's, says, the point is ours, and we're holding on to it. He says, Manchi as well grabbing that Widowmaker. Don't worry, guys. I am a Smurf. My Widowmaker is Diamond. <laughs> uh, Manchi as well picking that Widowmaker. We might see a, a pretty intense Widowmaker battle here, but I don't know. Manchi's aim, at least on that McCree, has proven that he's, uh, he's a formidable opponent at long range. So we're going to see if uh, Lazulus can keep up. And there they are, the mutual destruction being rained down on the spawn room, as always. Get off the stage, get off the stage, get off the stage, get off the stage. It's like Lycan switching back to that good old Reinhard Monchi, deciding he wants to join the tank world. We are seeing a four tank lineup coming out from New England Wales. Four tank lineup? Well, offense. if you want to consider Brigitte tank as well, you may have a little bit of a five tanker here. I'm really curious to see how Lazulus' Widowmaker is going to work out with this such high health team composition coming out from the New England Whalers. Hey, you never know, a high powered Widowmaker headshot could bring down a Roadhog. If she's being boosted with mech in the back there, she may very well be. Lazulus laying down a bit of a poison mine, little welcome home gift. <laughs> Hopefully, get some little bit of damage out of him before they get even near that objective. Setting up on top here, interesting spot. They could see the enemy team go right up the left and leave them in the dust. Lazulus already popping away, Junkrat firing his bombs, coming right up the middle, there it is! Tifa doing a great job of using that defense matrix, Reinhardt showing that you are not going to deal any damage before we get near this point, and they are just going to go wrap around the back side, going towards that objective A, and you see level zero immediately moving up onto that point, Arisa dropping that Setting shield. up that defense quick as they can, Lycan pushing through, charging, charging grabbing Gohan on 11, Diva. there, Diva's Diva. mech is already out! Already gone. Autumn Souls just holding on tight, waiting for that junk rat trap to end. There goes Arissa, NJV, a rip tire already coming through from Node, grabbing nobody except for Raven's mech. And Monchi's so close. NJV Rez setting up that defense in the corner once again. One more push, and they could have it, and there it is. Objective A already grabbed by the New England Whalers. Really showing. Poor man. And they're Four still going. Really working for him. They pushed them right off the point. They hadn't even died yet. That's just, it, it just goes to show the incredible zoning talents of the New England Whalers. Like I've said it time and time again, but they are incredible at pushing them away from where they don't want them to be. Gohan 11 trying to set some semblance of a defense here. And it looks like this five tank comp is actually working out really well for them. Down. With all that life, it seems they don't have enough firepower to really bring them in. Except there goes the Iron Giant Lycan. Gohan d -mecked. We're going to watch here on Manchi as he goes after the D.Va. Not fast enough to grab it. That was it! C9! Wow! New England Whalers really showing that if you are not focusing on the objective, you will just get... You will lose immediately. <laughs> that was that was something else. They didn't even kill the rest of the team. They just pushed them away. And Raven taking that play of the game there. Double zero, just not really focusing on the objective, more so on the kills in that moment. 
<laughs> wow. What an, what an incredible play. The New England Whalers tore right through him. But that will be. That, yeah, match that... two complete. Looks like the New England Whalers will be going to the finals with that win secured over level zero. <laughs> you know, Luke, like, let's talk about this for a second. What could they have done? Honestly, I, I, I can't see what they could have done to, to have stopped the New England Whalers from pushing right through. New England Whalers with that five-man tank composition just showing their dominance just through each objective, really just pushing them away from anything they could have possibly done. Level zero, you know, level zero, really just to they, do anything about it. They just didn't have the firepower necessary to bring down all those tanks. And it seems they didn't have the firepower necessary even before the five-tank quad. What was keeping them alive? Just Are there healers like, on point? Like exactly. I, <laughs> I couldn't really tell. They just walked right in. It was too quick to really figure out who was pulling the weight there. Yep. Although we got to look at Lycan. You want to talk about master tanks? Now that was a master tank. I haven't seen a Reinhardt get plays like that in a long time. Doing a beautiful job with those charges, just pinning down those tank characters, not letting them do anything about it, and just really securing the objective entirely and protecting his team behind that shield, just making sure that his shield's always up in those pivotal moments. And true, and, and one thing I could see from Lycan, you know, he was very selective about where he brought up his exactly. shield. Exactly. He would, he would hold it when it was absolutely necessary, but if there was no reason to have that shield up, he said, I'm not going to damage this. Exactly. Puts it away, and he just starts swinging away. Like, Lycan was, was incredible. Even as Winston, he just had a, a really, a, he had a, he had a really keen mind for figuring out where his health was and how much he can get away with before he had to leave. Well, GG to level zero. We are so happy that you guys were able to join us today. You did a great job. Tried your best, but unfortunately, it looks like New England Whalers will be moving on to that finals. Thanks again for joining us today. I mean, just to watch some amazing Overwatch competitive play. Some amazing competitive play. <laughs> I've seen some stuff today that's just absolutely insane. While we're on that topic, let's talk about that last round, level zero on the Whalers. Because the Whalers are pushing forward now. Yep, Whalers actually, based on our tournament bracket, the style it is, they are going straight to those finals, really showing their dominance off against that level zero and saying, we're ready for whoever's going to come our way and we're going to secure that victory overall in the tournament. I'm really looking, again, at Lycan. To, to hold that defense against whoever they're going to be coming up against. But level zero, I've got to hand it to them. They had an incredible offense. Yes, they really did. It really showed it off in that first round. Unfortunately, just not able to carry it over into the second round. Of not second strong round. enough for the Whalers, it mm -hmm. seems. You know, they're, uh, they were an immovable wall. They were the Iron Giant. And you can't push the Iron Giant over with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> So uh, we're going to come right back in here for the finale of the Eagle Rockets U.S. Open for Overwatch. Uh, we're playing against Genesis Esports and the Whaler, the New England Whalers. You know, we saw the Whalers do some incredible stuff uh, during their match. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back and uh, we're going to see a really solid attack here. Just editing some stuff here. Changing, uh, changing a few tags here. Uh, uh, tell me about who do you think, who, are you, who are you voting for here? At the end of the you day, know, who do you think is going to come out I mean, on top? Genesis Esports just really showing how good they are against Com Stoppers. Just, I, I really got to give it to Genesis Esports here, having the, the overall just a knowledgeable player base just against. That is true, but the Whalers again, they played against a really solid team with, uh, with uh, level zero, but yep. they still came out on top. Is that? Do you think the Genesis Esports is going to fall for those same flanking movements? Unsure. I mean, New England Whalers is an entirely different team. They don't try to flank very often. They do stick together. They both have similar styles of play, just sticking together, waiting for those moments to really just use everything at once. Pop in and punish He's, the other team. Exactly, you know, like really that. knowing how to use their characters in those moments. I Honestly, in this fight, I think it's just going to come down to the uh, the first person who dies, that's that's going to that's gonna cinch it for the team. Yep, it's going to be all about those picks They all those know carries. their roles. They all know where to stand. They all know exactly who to focus. And... <laughs> Once one person is down, that's going to be over, and the point's going to be grabbed. So I'm really excited to see these two go head-to-head. -head. The Iron Giants <laughs> yep. against Genesis Esports. <laughs> two players I really want to watch out here for. Monchi doing an amazing Monchi job with his and like it on that Reinhardt. Exactly. Just doing an amazing job. And Hegler, last game we saw his amazing Genji team killing. And I, those was, are the two players on each team I'm really watching for. If we see any picks of those two, that's when I think it's going to start getting real serious, and those are going to be the fighting moments. I'm really excited to game. see how Lycan is going to is going to play against this because with Hegler on Genji, you know, he can't deflect those hammers, 
as soon as he comes in there, you know, he might be at the, he may very well be at the mercy of Lycan yeah. and that pro Reinhardt if he picks it up again. All right, so we're going to come back in here, Luke, and we're going to switch down to the map as we go into control on Nepal. The New England Whalers versus Genesis Esports, two giants Traveling of the match. And here we are once again on Nepal, a beautiful sunny day, if not a little bit snowy. I am freezing in anticipation. I am freezing. My speech. <laughs> okay, we have Miitopia and Raven on that Genji, and Vulcan on Diva. Monchi picking up that Tracer again, ready to see a lot of good stuff coming from him. Yep, Monchi just saying, I am going to stick with Tracer. I think this will work in favor for me. Hegler, Ursatz, showing them that we all want to keep our carries right now. Fix, not going with that Zenyatta this time. It looks like he is going to go with that... Still going to keep a little long range in there. You know, I've, I don't see Lycan here. Looks like the New England Whalers have swapped out yep. Lycan. Looks like they did have a substitution. I think Metopia is the new guy on this team. We'll see what no, he can No, no, I believe it's Vulcan, actually. Vulcan. Vulcan, new guy. I think Vulcan is coming in as their fill. And uh, we're going to see what Vulcan can do if he is, can stand up to the legend that was Lycan in these last few rounds. And here we go, one. round one round of the one. finals match. It is Genesis Esports, New England Whalers. Let me know who is going to win in the chat. Immediately. Metopia dropping in there. There's her Zots on Reaper. They've got a lot of damage here. Gonna see if they're gonna tear right through these tanks. Chazzy holding down the point. Grabbing Vulcan right out of the air. Can he de-mech him in time? Yes, he can. And there goes half the team. And it looks like Genesis Esports is going to stand on top here. Interesting play from them New right now. The, the <laughs> and that first point will be going over to the red team. It's New England Whalers. Yeah, sorry about the overlay, had a bit of a mix up there, but uh, the red team you are looking at is indeed the New England Whalers, and the blue team is Genesis Esports. We'll have that switch right around the coming, in comes Genji with that Dragon Blade! Can he do the damage? Grabbing Zircone! Vulcan getting grabbed there! This guy coming in with a little bit of that Lucio action. He's been doing a lot of good Death stuff. Blossom coming in, grabbing him out of nowhere, getting that pick Grabbed by that Reaper guy. Blossom. Here comes Autumn Solus, keeping everybody alive with that little transcendence there. See if they can grab Urzots and Zircone before the end here. Getting that damage more onto that Lucio, trying to pick him off. Not throwing out any healing orbs. An interesting move, and Autumn Souls grabbed right there by the Zarya. Chazzy coming in to try and hold down this point, and it looks like Genesis Esports is going to hold this one. Genji trying to come in, Raven just not able to get in on that point. Unfortunately, picked off by Fix before he can even get anything going. You see that Hegler Zarya. switching off on the Zarya here. I was really hoping to see some more of that Genji. He's got his ult ready here, Luke, and uh, and, it, and it looks to be it's going to be interesting. Oh, there they're coming up top, but Hegler has got eyes on the Whalers, and they're ready to go again. Dropping in, here comes the melee, popping two ults at once. Now Transcend is going down. It looks like we do have. And there is Fix hitting that Coalescence ultimates after ultimates again. It's like level zero versus the Whalers all over again. But it looks like the New England Whalers are not going to be able to take the point back. Unfortunately not. Genesis Esports doing a great job, though, showing them they're not here just to play. They are ready to try and Urzat's get finding himself in a really strange position. <laughs> looks like, that looks looks like, like the Whalers waiting. are going to try the same exact move. Again, going in with that Death Blossom immediately picking Grabbing two. Teams. Is he going to demech the D.Va? And he does. Coming in there, grabbing one, two, three. There goes Metopia. Raven is down. Vulcan's, <laughs> Vulcan's demect. Coming on up to say, where are you going? And Ursatz, on fire, taking that Death Blossom in strike. Beautiful play there from Ursatz, waiting until that team.
drop down before he dropped down on him himself, hiding behind that corner. Able to just pick him up out of nowhere, using that Death Blossom beautifully. Coming back to the Whalers, they made a similar pick here with Raven going to... Raven going to... Reaper, Vulcan coming in on that D.Va, he has his ult ready, is he gonna drop it in on the point, is he gonna use it? Not yet it seems, he's gonna hold on until those shields have dropped, and there it is, dropping the ultimate, who's he gonna grab? Transcendence coming out. Transcendence coming out, keeping them all alive, doesn't seem that's gonna work, Earth Shatter coming in, Metopia taking a bit of damage, and down goes Metopia. Urzat's grabbing and Autumn Souls is out. Looks like the rest of the team is trying as best they can to hold on tight. Chansey gonna keep swinging away with that hammer. It makes times like this, it really makes you mislike it. Yep, Genesis Esports doing a great job here. Actually able to secure this point. Stop that charge from coming in. Looks like they might be able to pick something up And here. there it is, down into overtime. 99% on the board with 73 to the Whalers. Are they gonna be able to hold tight? Look at that smack! Chansey says, fly swatting! And just like that, objective secured. And that's gonna be round one. Going over to Genesis Esports. Beautiful play coming out with that. Beautiful play, man. That was one hell of a fight though. The Whalers did really well. They're holding tight. And we're gonna see if they can keep that same kind of, uh, same kind of meta while keeping a, just a little more eye on the enemy's DPS. New England Whalers, a force to be reckoned with. We're able to secure that objective, get up above 70% last time, saying we will fight for this victory. We're gonna pop on in here to watch the mutual destruction that is the inside of the spawn room. Five. Looks like they're ready. Monchi still staying on that Zarya. We're gonna see if he can own up to his old reputation. Lucio Speed just trying to get him on that point as soon as possible, getting everyone in there. Metopia coming in here, trying to live up to the legend that was Lycan, and the melee has started up again. Here they go, swinging away. We're gonna see if Metopia can stay alive to keep this solid defense. Jumping in, grabbing that mech, and demeched bread. Metopia coming down, and he doesn't see man. There he goes, Zircone grabbing him. And it looks like Genesis Esports is gonna hold down for <laughs> for this first point here. Genesis Esports showing they are just doing a great job here. It just, it just goes to show they know exactly what they're doing. The Whalers as well know what they're doing, but it's, it almost seems to be a complete 180 without like it on their side. Exactly, Metopia just needs to... Metopia needs to live up to the legend of the Iron Giant and come forward and show the world that Lycan is not the only Reinhardt on the Whalers. Raven coming around to try and get a few Roadhog picks, trying to deal that damage. Raven going down below 100 health, almost, Losing that almost getting grabbed, there's the sound barrier, a tranquility is being experienced, all the ults are happening at once, die, 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 and there goes Raven. And it looks like Genesis Esports has a pretty solid hold on this point. Vulcan out of mech, not able to survive, that will be a team wipe on that point. You know, I think they need a little more long range here, Luke, you know, and maybe a Farah could turn the tide of this battle just enough for them to take the point. Something does need to give here against Genesis Esports. Seems like they're all just clashing head to head, but Urzatz is really tearing them apart with those Reaper plays. And they are going to come around the back, try and get a sneak around, maybe come around from the back end. Monchi is ready with that ultimate on his Zarya. Where will he use it? We're gonna see if he pops this Graviton Surge right here, see if they can make it as huge as they want it to. Goes. Graviton Surge being popped! There it is! It's huge! One, two, three, four! And that seems to be Genesis Esports, ladies and gentlemen. That's going down. Chaz, the only one alive. And there it is with an ult to cinch that take. Monchi once again showing that he is a force to be reckoned with. New England Whalers just coming out of nowhere with a beautiful play to secure that objective. Now let's see if they can hold it past that 79 that Genesis Esports already has. Really love that play coming in there. Beautiful play from Zarya. Able to secure all those enemy teams. One spot. And just like that, they're trying to come in and see Nightem. Didn't even see them coming around the back. Genesis Esports, sneaky as they come. Trying to heal up as best as they can. There it is. Coalescence being shot. Kamehameha. And let's see if she can pull away with any kind of hits here. Throwing in that orb. Graviton Surge being thrown, down goes Monchi! Throwing out as much heal as possible, 
And pulling away, and there they go, dropping their tanks, leaving their squishies exposed. Vulcan back in mech, but can he hold on tight? Vulcan somehow staying alive, popping out of mech, and down goes Vulcan, giving back the point to Genesis Esports. And Vulcan almost had it there, possibly if he used his D.Va ultimate there to explode. He I don't know. We something had, going on there, but not we had Red inside a, inside her mech, and we had Chazzy on that Reinhardt shield. That ult could have been positively wasted. Urzat's getting grabbed, and he goes down. Raven showing that Roadhog is still a valuable use on this team. This guy showing his skills again with that Lucio. And there he goes, they retake the point as they push Genesis Esports off to the side. Grabbing in, tearing him apart, Bread's down, Chazzy's down. This guy doing his healing, doing his boosts. They know their roles. This is this is the professionalism that you really want to see. And this is just a swing back and forth. Teams doing a great job playing around each other, understanding exactly what needs to happen in the moments of this match. And I think it's just going to be one battle inside at all here. Oh, and, and, and grabbed by that Graviton Surge. We're going to see if Monchi can pull off the same thing. Chassis and Fix brought down. The rest of the team trying to loop around here to, to, to make up for the loss of their two players, but uh, it doesn't seem to be doing them much good. And the Graviton Surge Zirconate coming in, popping it. Players. Graviton Surge jumped in there. Doesn't seem to be doing much effect. Dropping into overtime. 99 on each side. It's anybody's game here, Luke. It's anybody's game. We just do not know what's going to happen. Nerf this being popped. Who are they grabbing? And Nerf this gets no one. Looks like the New England Whalers are gonna hold tight to this point and keep that overtime. And there it is. That's the play. end of that round. New England Whalers, amazing oh, job coming dead. back to tie it up. What an incredible comeback! They were, you know, they were, they were, they were getting pushed over by Genesis Esports. You know, and, and as we were saying, you know, they said we have control of this map, but the New England Whalers have proven them wrong, as they've proven us all wrong so many times before. New England Whalers really showing that they can just do just about as much as anything as Genesis Esports. And these teams feel like there are even play playing fields right now. Urzat's dropping off that Reaper, going to Tracer. Tr probably try to get behind him and, uh, and uh, zone him in on the point. Yep, we see Urzat's Heckler going back to those DPS they love so much. Metopia going with the Orisa here. Autumn Souls switching out from that Mora to Lucio. And Manchi back on McCree. We've seen him pull some incredible stuff with this McCree before. And we're going to see if he can if he can continue that uh, line of, of power. A line of death, really. And they're just picking out any of those shots, trying to get just taking any shots he can get. Ooh, firing in on Hegler. He seems to seems to have him right where he wants him. And there it is, coming around the back end. Unfortunately, not hitting that. They're Tracer pushing there. right through that Their Tracer, shots. grabbing him, getting him. But it looks like the Whalers are going to hold on to this point for the first tick. Pushing back Genesis Esports. What do they need to do? What do they need to do to slam against the Whalers and regain that footing that they had? I think Genesis Esports knows exactly what they gotta do. Hegler and Ursats gotta get some more of those picks on those bigger players. Fix doing a great job with Zirconade. You know, I feel like I feel like the tracer change just wasn't sufficient enough for this play. I think he should have stayed Reaper personally. He can do a lot more damage, especially against their heavy tank based comp here. See what he can do here. Down Whoa, and there he goes. Ursat's finally getting the momentum he needs. There is and there it is, kill. a team kill. Brett jump, jumping Gen off the side. Genesis Esports saying, hey, this is our point. This is what we're made of. I dare you to come back. Raven on that junk rat still gonna see if she can make the picks necessary to bring it all up, bring it all together. We do see. Raven with that rip tire ready to go at any moment. Ursat's being a little too uh, a little too bold there, as they all move around ready to drop in. We'll be dropping from the back end. Coming and up the back running. end, they're gonna hit him with those pincer movements. Here comes the rip tire. Here comes the rip tire. Where will it go? Nowhere it seems. Once again, the whalers trying to trying to hit him with those pincer movements. We know them so well for it this time. Ursat coming in with a pulse bomb. Chazzy using a beautiful primal rage. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. And oh, they gotta focus the point here. There they go. Genesis Esports not really paying attention to the back end. 
and it's getting taken once again by the New England Whalers. Whoa, and there goes Vulcan! New England Whalers. Autumn Soul is doing a great job with that Mercy, switching it up. You know, they really needed the healing. They, they just weren't doing, they weren't staying alive as long as they really should have been at, the, at Nepal, at the, uh, at the temple. So now they're gonna set up their solid defense. This reminds me a lot of the Comp Stompers early defense here, Luke. Exactly, those shields. Those shields with that Orisa and a little bit of Zenyatta throw in there and the Mercy. This is, this has got Comp Stompers written all over it. I'm guessing oh they're lining, God, and yeah, dropping on in! Blown up. All of the ults popping at once! One, two, three, and four are all going off! Riptire sent out, going after Fix, and Fix goes down! It looks like the New England Whalers are a little too pissed about the la first, uh, the first round in the Palver! Whoa, and down goes this guy! And it looks like the Genesis Esports is actually going to take it! Right in overtime, they're gonna grab it back, and say, you know what, we're gonna gain this footing that we had right at the beginning, and we're not gonna let go. And I bet you we are gonna see a 99% on both sides for this round three of control. It's gonna be a very close match between these Got two Got some teams. strange placements here. Ursatz and Heckler really finding themselves in some very different spots. It looks like we might see them coming, looping around all the way back to that enemy side of the team. And there they go, rolling back around, trying to hit him with that Split them apart with that C9. This is what I was talking about. This is where the Whalers survive. They pull your team apart Dragon and then they Blade coming in. pick you one after another. Dragon Blade tearing it apart. Hegler throwing in. We're back in overtime with the Whalers holding tight on the point. Hegler trying to bring back what his team had so, so poorly let go. And there they go. Hegler trying to get in there. Experience Tranquility, and the New England Whalers seem to be holding tight here. Genesis Esports really trying to push them away, but they're not moving, even with that Winston ult. Whoa, and down goes this guy, pushed away by Chazzy. There's only two on the point. Fire in the hole from Raven, and that's gonna be it. Great job coming in from New England Whalers there. That is gonna be victory on round one for the New England Whalers. Oh, Scott played the game, Luke. Who do you think won that one? Erzatz! With that beautiful Death Blossom coming out, I hope it's the one from dropping down around the corner. No, it looks like it's, no, it looks like it's something else. Here. There it is, pulling them all apart. Double kill on that Death Blossom. But he says, I don't need a Death Blossom to get play the game. Tried to chase him off. What an incredible go. You see, I think Erzatz should have stayed on that Reaper for that round, you know, they weren't doing the same amount of damage they were doing in the last bit here. You know, look, uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, they just weren't having the same damage output that they were displaying at the very beginning of the map. And I'm actually really excited because, I mean, this isn't the same Genesis Esports we saw during Comp Stompers. Genesis Esports really just showed them that they were forced to be reckoned with. We are the top team in this entire tournament. But New England Whalers coming out of nowhere saying, no, I don't think so. <laughs> This is evenly matched, and we saw it all the time. He's going around three, 99% almost on each team, and this is a very, very close, close against each other. They are just very it's equal just, levels. It's just neck and neck at this point. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to find out if the game is going to keep on going to round three or if it's going to end here with a brutal defeat. We'll be right back. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. My name is Nico. And I'm Luke. And you are watching the Eagle Rockets Overwatch US Open. First annual. First annual and charity stream. Speaking of which, if you haven't yet and you feel the need to, we would highly suggest you donate in the donate button below. All proceeds are going to be going to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital here in Seattle. And uh, I've said many times before, but honestly, every cent counts. And thank you to all who have been donating so far. We greatly appreciate Very it. Very true. We're looking at a solid, what was it, $95 donated so far? It means a lot. That is That means so much to us, you guys. Uh, thank you so much. And and honestly, it's it's absolutely overwhelming. And <laughs> 
uh, all the support that the that the tournament and and St. Jude's is getting from all of us. Exactly. It's, it's 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 beautiful to see. And you know what else is beautiful to see? It looks like the Iron Giant Lycan is being subbed back in. Lycan, the man we were waiting for. Yeah, it's so beautiful place coming from him. I am so excited to see what he can do. I'm Possibly very excited. You know, match. <laughs> you know, you you uh, at the beginning of this match, you uh, you favored. You favor Genesis Esports. You know, and I still think they have a chance. I really do. I'm still pushing for that game three to come into play. I really think if Genesis Esports comes comes together, really thinks about what went wrong in the last match against the New England Whalers, I don't know if Lycan subbing in right now is the right moment. Maybe that will be their downfall. It might be their downfall, but come on, man. That's the Iron Giant himself. I'm not sure that anything can stop him at this point. We will see. <laughs> well, we're going to pop back down here for the final round. It looks like we will be going in to assault. And, and let us know in the chat who you think's going to end up winning this tournament. Prize is on the line. Prize is team definitely on the line. Both teams wanting to get this victory. And all right, so everything looks to be set up, and. Uh, Looks like we're going to be doing this final round here on Temple of Anubis, my personal favorite. Mine as well. And uh, and we're going to see how the teams really come together here. Give me one second. Doesn't seem that Hollywood is actually open for assault. I would have loved to put them on Hollywood, but uh, Temple of Anubis is is going to have to uh, is going to have to suffice. Right. And with that final change made, we are back and we're going to pop on down. And we're going to see this final round against the Genesis Esports and the New England Whalers as they battle it out for supremacy on assault in Temple of Anubis. Possible final round. I'm Possible for my Genesis round. Esports. We got this, guys. <laughs> Bread, Hegler, I want to see it. Lycan, I know what you got, buddy. <laughs> Show us what you're worth. And down to the field. Now entering the Temple of Anubis. Now entering the Temple of Anubis. <laughs> I need to wait for teammates to spawn in here, see what their picks are going to be. Temple of Anubis is honestly one of my favorite maps. There's a lot of places in here where you can really drop in from the top, which is my personal favorite thing. You know, uh, a lot of people tend to overlook these windows over here. Exactly. Or Sats Hegler, we know they are known for hiding in those secret places, dropping out of nowhere, getting the damage in, getting those picks. And we'll see if they can utilize those during this time. I'm really excited to see how they utilize the high ground. Though that being said, they've been very uh, they've been very solid when it comes to to getting their team together in one big group. Yep. So they may not split themselves up like that, or they might for this defense. You, you never know here. And it looks like we will be seeing Genesis Esports on the defense the first round here. Fix trying to fix himself here, and off he goes. Interesting choice here from Hegler, bringing out the Widowmaker. Haven't seen that yet, really, today. Do much. So I want to see if the, they can make it work here. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Honor Attackers Souls, are going to be first time in. Bridget, I believe, since we've seen him play today. Brigitte. Oh, Brigitte. Brigitte. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> got a lot of people talking about the correct correct pronunciation of her name. And you know, honestly, it seems like every time I ask somebody, there's a different pronunciation. Yeah, I really do love that Brigitte. That Brigitte, that Brigitte, that Brigitte. I have heard Brigitte before. I am not lying. Three, two, one. And the game begins <laughs> with the last switch. Autumn Souls will be going back to that comfortable Mora pick. With Lycan once again, the Iron Giant. We're gonna focus in on him here. They're coming up the side. That is not who I wanted. <laughs> Lycan, Lycan, Lycan once again. Iron Giant, the man, the saying, here is my shield. I am on the point. What have you got? There he me? goes. He says, come and get me. I'm ready for you. Swinging his hammer away. It looks like they're going to grab in on this first point. Hegler just doing whatever he can to try and get some damage on it. Looks like not much he can do. Oh. Sitting back behind that pillar. Lycan getting that mini diva bread going down. And there it goes, grabbing him. One, two, three, four. It doesn't seem like they're, they're, they're going to let him take the point. They've got members to get on the edge here. Hegler, you've got to get on the point. You may be, may be a Widowmaker, but it will all be for naught if you don't do something. And Lycan on fire already. There's my man there showing that he is still the giant she, giant. Trying to do whatever she can, popping off that point again. Somehow the whalers are holding on to this point, or the, the, the whalers are holding on here. 
as uh, as Brett and the rest of them seem to be trickling in, but this isn't the same Genesis esports we've been seeing these past few rounds. Lycan, the man, the Iron Giant, the Reinhardt, he is beautiful. On to Objective B. Already getting up there to Objective B. He's ready, he's going to take it. Will he get first tick before his team shows up? There it is, hammered down! And it looks like they're already going to be taking two, t uh, two ticks here, if they can get the rest of them off the point. This guy's still staying alive, keeping his team strong. Chazzy popping that ult. Vix holding on to the point. We're gonna see who is going to keep them from grabbing that first tick. Red doing whatever he can to try and keep some damage on his team. Defense Matrix going in. Nobody focusing the healers. This guy free to roam. And it looks like he's gonna go after their healers. We do see a lot of red going down right now. Pushing him right off the side. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? This guy running away from the fight. A good call as the rest of his team does not seem to be having the same kind of power that they did before. And great play there from Genesis Esports. Able to come back, get them off that objective, slow the game down a little bit, and not just get steamrolled. Once again, Lycan proving that he may be the MVP of this game. Autumn Souls coming in with that Moira heals again. Winston dropping down from the back end. Soundberry already popped, EMP out. It's just going to be shooting fish in a barrel at this point. Vulcan, this guy in Manchi brought down. Lycan trying his best and he is brought down as well. Genesis Esports showing that they are the same Genesis Esports we remember. Pegler with the amazing EMP there, completely denying any sort of ultimates or abilities coming in from New England Whalers, not making them able to get into the, into the second tick whatsoever. And it looks like Raven is ready with that rip tire, see if he can do something with it here and try and get them that second tick they need here on Objective B. Laying down that trap, and here they go, coming all up on the left side. Is he gonna do it? Popping that rip tire, there here it, it is. comes, rip tire going in. When will it be used? Here it comes around the back. And Oh, grabbing fix. fix. Pushing them away, they're gonna try to take this tick again. Nerf this throne, Bread not really grabbing anybody. Zircone bringing Fix back. Hegler and Chazzy both going down. Lycan trying to use that shield and gain some Hegler once again team. bears the die, die, die. Monchi proving his worth. Almost got that second tick again. It is so close. Bread doing whatever he there can. There it is. Bread trying to hold on. Not going to make it. Chazzy trying to hold here. There goes the EMP. Hegler going down immediately after using that. And there she goes. Getting it off. Monchi really tearing the squishies apart. And that is going to be round one on Temple of Anubis. Wow, what an amazing play from New England Whalers. Showing complete domination. Less than a few minutes to get that second objective. Doing a great job. Still three minutes, 53 seconds remaining. If it comes to that. Try and get a few more points when they have to come back and switch sides one more time. But it looks like we will be seeing Genesis Esports trying to take some objectives here. Well, I hope they're going to try to take the objectives, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> you know, where is that Genesis Esports we saw against the Com Stompers? You know, maybe they're paying for the disrespect they did to the Diva in that last round on Hanamura. I am unsure. Hegler doing great job on that Sombra. I want to see it again, honestly. That EMP was huge and pivotal in some of those points, just not able to utilize it again a second time exactly. to keep them off that point. The Red, not really doing as much on that D.Va this time. You know, I didn't see I didn't see a lot of use of the high ground here, as it seemed everybody was clashing head-to-head -head right in the front. But uh, I'm hoping to see a little high ground use this time. Maybe they can get some picks from an unseen area while the... Uh, while Genesis Esports gets their gets their team rolling. And I am super excited to see Monchi back on that Tracer, see what he can do with that. Monchi's back on the Tracer, there he goes. Lycan on the Winston, we've seen him destroy with before. Exactly. Attackers incoming in We're gonna see where he places himself up here. There he goes, utilizing the high ground. Lycan is gonna hang out up there with Autumn Souls. Changing off that Moira and instead deciding to go with Mercy instead. Let's see if their defense is just as good as their offense, especially against Genesis Esports, who have proven their offense is superior. I'm wondering how they are going to utilize this tactical advantage here, hiding up in those 
little ledges. There they all go, you fully utilizing the high ground. Coming right under, right into the trap, and the trap has been sprung. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. This guy already getting taken care of, though. Pushing through Hegler. Hegler goes down. It's a melee. It's anybody's game at this point. Chazzy swinging away. Autumn Soul's getting grabbed by Bread. Mercy will not be able to res anyone during this time. Huge Lycan time. trying to get in there. Be the Iron Giant we know he can be. Fix doing great work on that Mora. Vulcan trying to stay alive, but down goes Vulcan. Monchi showing her showing the tracer skills yet again, but not enough, it seems. Raven trying to stay alive, but who knows how long he can pull this up. He does have Riptire available now. We'll see if he uses it. it Riptire being used. Where Will it, it be utilized in time? Oh. And it was brought down by Erzatz. And we are on to Objective B. The Beautiful. objective has changed, but they've already set themselves up in a bad position. You already have Raven in the back here making the shots that might change this. Beautiful denial of that rip tire, and they're already on the There's Lycan oh on goodness. Reinhardt, the Reinhardt we know so well! Raven getting pushed away by Zirconate's, uh, <laughs> Zirconate's boop! Coming in with that hammer, Lycan laying the smack down, trying to do what he can. There he goes, demecked bread. And once again, we are shown that Lycan may just be the MVP of this entire game. Lycan just doing work everywhere he goes. Showing that he is the one true Iron Giant. He is Superman. <laughs> <laughs> and off they go. Genesis Esports really trying to push through for that second objective. Hegler leading up the front, trying to absorb as much damage as he can. And there they go, running right through. Ultimates being popped left and right. Hegler being pushed right under. This may be the thing that pushes them over the edge in this fight. Sorry, I'm not trying, too much damage trying to destroy what they can. Nerf this going down and stopped. Vulcan grabbed before he can get back in the mech. Monchi trying to come in there, but it doesn't seem it's going to work. Genesis Esports holding the line. Grabbing Autumn Souls and Raven there in their, in their Graviton Surge. And Fix hitting him again with that Coalescence. What an incredible melee here, Luke. I'm not entirely sure who's going to come out here. D-mecked and down goes this guy. Hegler showing that Zarya is a valid tank here. Raven trying to come back in with that Doomfist, but it's not going to be enough. Look at these charge counters coming in from Hegler. Over 76, 73. Incredible ticks. And there they go. Oh, grabbing at the last second, and that's going to be it. Round two completed. And we're going to go into round three here on Temple of Anubis. Both teams seem to be very able to take these objectives here on offense. Now it's going to be all about how fast you can do it. You know, I kind of want to see Genesis Esports come on top here, Luke. I want to see this fight prolonged. I want to see what the Whalers can do when pushed into a corner yeah. and what Genesis Esports can do when they've been disrespected as they have in these last few matches. It is just back and forth, back and forth against these two teams. And it really still can be anyone's game at this check point. This last minute check. Everyone squared away. Trying to set up these defenses here. Zircone bouncing around as he always does. You know, I think the real unsung heroes here, Iron Giant may be an absolute professional, but I think the unsung heroes are the Lucios in this match. You know, you're not seeing them die too often, and they are getting their fair share of kills. Zircone and, uh, and, uh, and Autumn Souls trying to pull the heels here. This guy on his Lucio as well in that last round, a pretty incredible, but he's gonna pop over to Moira this time. Bread staying with D.Va. It seemed to suit him pretty well last time. Fix holding on here as well. And we will see if the New England Whalers can get this first objective before too much time goes by. Three minutes, 50 seconds remaining for them. They are just gonna have to speed through, see if they can break and down. And Vulcan anyway. trying to come in there with the same kind of Zarya techniques as the last time. They are pushed up right on the top there. They're gonna try to come around the right side. They're pushing right in. They're trying to get up inside of this room. We don't know who's gonna come out on top here. Down goes Vulcan. Down goes this guy. And Autumn Souls. There goes Lycan. And it looks like Genesis Esports is gonna hold this point, Luke. And they are but shoving it... them all the way back to the spawn point, <laughs> saying, get out of our objective. We are running this timer down. Don't get too greedy, Genesis. We do see Bread out of that Diva mech. Hopefully trying to get some damage to get back into it. 
tactics, waiting for anyone to come up. And, and there they go, there going around the right side here. And it looks Munchie like Munchie leading the front attention. with Reaper. You know, these new Reaper buffs have been proven to be very useful in this latest update. And there he goes, just firing away on the inside. Munchie just tearing him apart. Lycan goes down. The defense of the Iron Giant being pushed right through by Bread. Munchie staying alive until the very end there. This melee is getting too wild for first person. Genesis I don't know how they're playing this. Just doing an amazing job of shutting down anything New England Whalers My. are trying to get going. They're pushing right through. Don't get greedy, Genesis. This could be your falling point. My ultimate is ready to be Just look at these charge counters coming in from Hegler's. Hegler's play here, just constantly over 50 with those beautiful shields. And here they come back in again. For popping that rally already. Other side popping another rally. There's the Graviton Surge and the ult Dragon Blades. It's everybody's game right now. Wow! It's ult after ult after coalescence after die, die, die. Hammer down. It's just ultimates after ultimate. And it looks like they're going to push through the solid defense of Genesis Esports. What an incredible push. And that's going to be first tick right there with a minute 46 still on the clock. We just saw both teams doing everything they possibly could. All ultimates used available at that moment. And fortunately enough for the New England Whalers, they were able to carry it out into that objective A, moving on to objective B. Lycan's going to push right through again. The Iron Giant saying, I am sick of this Iron Defense. I am the true giant here. But it looks like Lycan's taking some heavy hits here, not watching his back end. Hammered down, and there goes Monchi, grabbed by Hegler. Gonna pop out of first person, he was getting a little too wild. There they go, left, right, it's just everybody smacking away here. Raven is gonna be demacked, Vulcan's gonna be pushed back. Autumn Souls into a corner, and down goes Autumn Souls. Minimum. Moving right through Chazzy, taking Lycan, and down goes Lycan. Could Chazzy be the new Iron Giant? Unsure of that right now, but he is on fire, doing an amazing job. Less than a minute and a half left to go. We'll see if Chazzy, with four ultimates available on Genesis Esports, is able to make this what they need right now. And push this to the next round with five minutes to them. There goes Lycan pushing through again. The Iron Giant saying, I am not about to be disrespected that way. There he goes, throwing his shield up once again. I am unsure how these teams deal with all of this. There's two coalescence and an earth shatter. One, two nerfs. It's all ultimates again. Who's going to come out on top? Raven and Lycan both going down. What an incredible run through. All Vulcan trying again. to hold on to that point, but it's not going to be enough. All ultimates again used at that moment. Both teams know that they just have to try and line up everything at once to be able to do anything in these moments. 30 seconds remaining, just enough time for New there. England Whalers to try and get one last push in. Finally switching into that pharmacy, trying to get a little bit of range on these guys. We'll see if that Moira's reach isn't going to be uh, enough to grab Raven out of the sky. Less than 20 seconds remaining. I'm going to see Lycan probably come in here and charge any second now. We'll see if this pharmacy changes damage. the tides of battle. Here he comes, coming in, Lycan, trying to get up in the forefront. There's the Graviton the Surge, double Graviton Surges! Lycan pushing in, grabbing one at a time, everybody's dying left and right! Sound barrier popped, broken it down, Monchi doing what he can to stay alive. There's Raven with the barrage. Raven single-handedly winning And that that's one point. tick! Two ticks! They're gonna see if they can hold on to it. There's two coalescence, a hammer down, thrown by Chazzy. It looks like they were not ready for Raven on this Farah change. They've got a quarter of a tick left. Lycan saying, it's my turn to shine once again. Down he goes, Hegler's out, and that's gonna be the point. New England Whalers coming in at the last moment to get coming, the last point. Coming in clutch with that Farmercy. That really changed the tide of their battle. They got a little bit of that range, and Genesis Esports couldn't do a thing about it. And that Farah just doing work right there with that ultimate, securing that last objective, doing an amazing job with Mercy helping out there. Autumn Soul is doing a great job keeping Lycan alive there. We're going to see if, uh, if uh, Genesis Esports can uh, throw their weight around in this offense as well as they could hold that defense. 
and they have five minutes to get both points or it will be victory over to New England Whalers. You know, they had some really good holds in there. Honestly, you know, uh, the, the, the Whalers just, they just had the ults popped at the right amount of time, you know. Interesting choice here from Bulk, and looks like he will be going with the Roadhog, possibly. A Roadhog? You know, we haven't seen Roadhog be incredibly effective during this tournament. It's all about those hooks. If he can land them, it will be valuable. Raven. Very true, but we see, a, we see a lot of Roadhogs, at least in this tournament today. They'll come up in there, they'll throw the hook, but the animation will be too long, and these teams will lay the punishment down on them. Raven wants to carry this fair play over to the next round with Autumn Souls, keeping up with that far mercy. Well, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Genesis Esports can take this in stride and uh, see if they're ready for that same far mercy combo. Lycan switching up with the Orisa right now. Feels like this is a little bit better for him. Keep that objective safe. Zot's pushing through. Vulcan dropping in. There he goes. Already grabbing Hegler. There he goes, taking this guy as well. He's doing the damage he needed them to do. The last four pushing right over the top. It looks like from the They're gonna try to hold a solid defense in here, but they're getting pincered, and there's no way out of something like this. Let me tell you. Down goes Fix and Urzatz. And that is healers down. Bread is gone, and that's it. They will have to that go push back. is not going to be successful for the New England Whalers. Unfortunate indeed. This is going to be a for lot the Genesis of pressure. Esports. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of pressure on them to try and figure out what went wrong in that moment. They're all just going to have to collect back together and try and formulate a new plan for you how know, to tackle these guys. I may have been skeptical of Vulcan's Roadhog, but I, I think that's what really brought this together for him. Doing an amazing job keeping sustained heals on himself. And he's, and he's really dealing the damage here. I saw him bring down uh, a fair share of people up there. Already getting grabbed by the farmers. See, there they go again. Ursat and Zirkonat going up with the farmers. See, it looks like we have two farmers There we go. Ursat's showing, showing that Ursat is the king of DPS during this round. Definitely saying, get off my farmer, Farah. There he goes, going after this guy. Down he goes. Ursat on fire. Erzat's proving once again that he is the master DPS of this tournament, and that is going probably going to be point one. Beautiful play from Erzat there on his para going on fire, saying, Raven, I dare you to continue playing that character. I will outplay you at every moment. And there he goes, trying to push his weight around still. That rip tire being thrown, where's it going to go? Who's it going to grab? And it was shot down by Hegler. He said, not in my house. Put your toys away, junk rat. Vulcan pushing up ahead, trying to get any kind of uh, damage in there that he can. Not able to really get much going here at this moment. It looks like a lot of people are just waiting for these pickups. And immediately going on. Going right after him. Down goes Chazzy. Bread being d real quick. She was trying to go after that healer, but to no avail. Justice has been rained from above, and down goes Ersatz, blowing herself up on Diva's mech. Beautiful wow! play from Diva, flying straight into the Pharaoh, who's using Rocket Barrage. Fix using trying to get damage any damage herself. he can, and down goes at Fix. Chazzy trying to run away, trying to stay alive, regroup here to come back again for another solid push. And it looks like Hegler switching to that Zarya. Hegler so good on. Back on that Zarya. You know, I've missed Hegler's uh, Genji. We haven't seen a lot of Genji play in this tournament. Looks like we are just so reliant on these tanks staying alive with this same deal for these matches. Autumn Souls showing that Mercy is still a valid character. And there it goes! Hitting him again with that ult! Far Mercy proving again that it is a still an incredibly valid comp. Genesis Esports just not able to create that forward momentum to get Monchi. to that point. Monchi shadow stepping in saying, where is everybody? <laughs> and it looks like they will regroup and try this push one more time. Two minutes remaining for this round. Can, to get objective. Can they push through? Luke, I'm, 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 I'm really worried for them. I really want to see this go into round three. I think the pivotal moment right here is whether Hegler is going to be able to pick that ultimate on his Zarya up be able to utilize it in this last battle to get them this point. I feel like it's going to take him the whole time here, and it's going to be pivotal for him to get that. 31% right now, 32. And they're coming up from there the There he comes, right popping now. that Coalescence already. Oh, hammer down, almost used. 
Interrupted, Lycan gets smacked by Hegler. Munchie going through there again, trying to stay alive, doing as much damage as he can, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold tight. Mercy keeping him alive. Throwing that Earth Shatter. Sound barriers being popped. He's going after Brett, trying to get their tanks out of their out of their comfy positions. Monchi getting hunted down and grabbed by Brett mid shadow step. And that's gonna be first tick for Genesis Esports. Vulcan trying to hold on tight here. Another barrage. Use impossibly. There he goes. Vulcan popping it. Hegler using that ult to great effect. You were right. That was going to be the point that changed it. That 86 counter right now. If they can, damage all the way at 100, if they can keep Monchi from tearing him apart, there it is. It looks like Raven is doing whatever he can. Down goes Raven. Vulcan popping that ult. Will it be huge? Sound barrier is deployed. Looks like there's only a few more left on the point here, and that's going to be it. Round four completed with a minute and 18 seconds still on the clock. It is dead even. Both teams have about a minute to see if they can do anything left with this time. Try and get one more objective, one more tick as far as they can go. This is anyone's game, anyone's time to shine right now. You know, I'm really looking at Lycan here. If he can stay alive... You know, I think he can push the team forward. But against Chazzy's Reinhardt, I don't know. I feel like Lycan is losing his status as the true Iron Giant in this round. Chazzy is just doing an amazing job on that Reinhardt. Lycan saying, I'm probably going to switch it up here. Go back to that Winston that we've seen him be very effective on before. And it's all about speed here. We only have about a minute left to see how much we can do in these moments. And we need as much speed and forward momentum as we can because we only have one, possibly two shots at securing this objective. All right, everybody's gearing up with 30 seconds ready. The <laughs> New England Whalers have one minute on the clock to take point one and the rest of the map. Uh, go going against the uh, going against the uh, going against Genesis Esports, they got a minute and 18 still on the clock. That 18 seconds can honestly prove to be incredibly useful. Exactly, that's enough time for two full pushes. And they're setting up here, getting ready, getting in all kinds of crazy positions, ready to drop on them with that pincer movement they tried before. And down they go, Lycan already on the offensive. Scouting out territory right now, saying, I am a monkey, I am a force to be reckoned with. Where are you? I am coming for you. Hegler trying to get in there with a few Widow picks. We're going to see if he can pull it off. Breaking that shield. Grabbing Raven, right, good pick, orbed down by this guy. This guy saying, okay, you may have gotten my damage, but at least you're not gonna get my heals. This guy standing in the back, trying to deal out as much damage as he can. 18 seconds on the clock and one tick already down. That's two ticks, and I don't know, Luke, it looks like they're gonna push on into the next point. They are gonna have 30 seconds to get this last point. Enough time for one solid push. Ultimate ability is almost there for quite a few members on this team. This is going to be a very explosive last objective to try and take. Hegler making a strange choice on that Sombra. Genesis Esports, it is now or never for them to hold this last objective. Chazzy, the next contender for Iron Giant, trying to hold the defense. We're gonna see if he can stay here. And the ults are already being popped. Down goes Raven, booped by Zircone. No ticks left on the clock. And they're gonna push through, popping a Transcendence, and a Valkyrie is already done. Vulcan still holding on to that ult. Is he gonna use it? Trying to bring down Zirconate up in the air. Zirconate is going unchallenged, and down he goes. Fortunately, not able to survive in that moment. Four members. One on tick right with now. four on the point. And Primal Rage coming in, trying to keep anyone off that. Point Nerf whatsoever. being thrown, and that is going to be it. Taking the point in record time in this match. One minute available, and they get both points with that minute. What slay? Genesis Esports has their work cut out for them right now, Luke. Exactly. Can New they England push Whalers. through as fast and as powerful as the Whalers did? New England Whalers not saying, saying, we will not give up without a fight. This is just as much our game as it still is yours. 
and it is now up to Genesis Esports. You know, I don't think the Whalers are saying this is as much our game as yours. I think they were very and definitively stating this is our game. <laughs> Get out! Genesis Esports <laughs> has their work cut out for them. They need to secure both objectives in less than a pretty much just a minute right now. And we'll see if they can do it. Or Raven sticking on that uh, Farah. Autumn Soul's still on the mercy. You know, that it did him a lot of good the last time. So they're going to see uh, just how strong they can make this defense. And this could be the last round of the match for this tournament. It could be the last, or it could be the start of round three. We'll see. Autumn Soul's trying to hide out here, ready to deal the heals as she can. And Autumn Soul's reses are going to be huge in these moments. Especially with a minute 18 on the clock, you want to keep your people alive as, as often as possible. Not entirely sure where Monchi's going. And the attackers are incoming. Red pushing up with Urzots already at the front. There's Urzots, our king of DPS right now. We're going to see if this tracer change is going to be enough. Can he do it right now? Just trying to sneak around back. They've split the team up. I don't know if this is going to be helpful. Going for the healer. It looks like they did notice him up on the second balcony. Mercy running away, saying, run, healers, run. I am here. And there they go. Grabbing in Urzots, saying, you're not getting away from me this time. Down goes Raven. Grabbed by Urzots. Monchi trying to fire off where she can. Vulcan still staying alive. It's Vulcan's Roadhog once again. Pulling down Bread, getting him Zoning on the Zoning Bread right here, keeping them right where they want him. They said, you aren't getting away from me. Fix once again, rolling around unchallenged at the speed of sound. Bread being pushed right out of the mech and grabbed by Vulcan. Trying to bring down Lycan, but Lycan is a force to be reckoned with as we have come to know Chazzy on there. Chazzy just doing whatever he can in these last Chazzy moments. once again saying, Lycan, anything you can do, I can do better. Throwing on that Winston. Chazzy. And that's going to be point one if I'm uh, if I'm mistaken. That is oh, nope, someone's one. still holding on there. Back in overtime. It's going to be the same as it was before, Luke. 29 seconds on the clock. Enough time they for have one a chance. push. They have one push, one chance to get this to a round three. Can we see Genesis Esports come in and get this to that round? All right, here they go. Setting up that solid defense there with Arissa Shields. Coming up on the left side. Brett pushing through. Valkyrie already popped. Lycan taking a bit of harassment here. Vulcan popping that bolt. Raven throwing it out there. Raven just showing off. That incredible Pharah skill there. Hegler not being able to keep up. Autumn Soul staying alive. Lycan holding down that point. This guy dropping that transcendence. It looks like they're gonna take it, Luke. It looks like they're gonna take it. Raven throwing out the barrage. This Raven. is absolutely insane. Raven One person still Pharah. on the point. Raven holding on in overtime, and that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, maybe guards help me get a rest. Yeah, he was out of max. Thank you, thank you, thank you, good rest. Which one? Which one? Far as one, far as one. To my face, it's one. Baby Diva, uh, Baby Diva one? Baby Diva one? Who said it's in his face? Compare, compare, she's out. Compare, compare, she's out, she's one. Get her, get her, good. Oh my revenue is huge. Massive boy! My homework! The Bastion pick for the win! Let's go! Let's go! GG! Oh, let's go! Pog! Oh, what, what a fucking game! I still oh my let's god! Let's go! Play of the game. What? Raven doesn't deserve play of the game? He only got like a 5, man. Raven Farah. Oh wait, this is Raven's super nice play, right? Yeah, yeah this is a super nice one. Bam! 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 Oh, it was this Hoggers! That is gonna be the end of that going right to the New England Whalers. You you favored him, the Genesis Esports at the beginning of this. But you know, he, I, and I thought Lycan was gonna be the one to bring it all together, but it looks like Raven was the, the missing piece that cinched that match together. And I just cannot believe how that match played out, honestly. Genesis Esports, Hagler doing a great job on that Zarya.
but unfortunately not able to carry it through to a victory for them. You know, I'm, I am I am honestly so impressed by the the, the, the teammanship they have here, you know? The, their teams are so well put together, and they held such strong defense, and they had such solid offense, and it was just, it was like I said before, it was like watching an immovable force against an unstoppable object. Exactly, just and, really and utilizing. And they just rammed heads, and the, the fallout was absolutely incredible. Able to utilize those ultimates off of each other, one after the other, just synchronizing all of their team play together really showed them how, how dominant they were in these games. Man, and with that, the New England Whalers are going to cinch it. They are crowned our victors today for our first U.S. Open. For the Eagle Rockets Overwatch tournaments. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Bo <laughs> wow, I'm still, I'm still, I'm, a, I'm lightheaded. That was an incredible that, match. I was on, I was on my feet for pretty much that <laughs> entire last match. Just I saw you, Luke. You were sitting here just like this the entire time. Just, oh! I, I could not believe what was going on. <laughs> that was probably one of the most intense matches I have ever shoutcasted in my life. Very true. You know, you see this kind of stuff in the league. You know, that was that was incredible work. And I can't wait to see what the New England Whalers get to next. I'm going to be keeping my eye on them. Exactly. And they will definitely be invited back for the next tournament that we'll be hosting. Congratulations to all players, especially our victors today. Great job, everyone who you played today. You all did absolutely incredible. I was so impressed. Luke was so impressed. <laughs> and I'm sure the rest of the viewers were mind blown at the ability that you all presented today. So uh, before we go, one last time, we'd like to remind you that at the end of the day, it's all about fun and it's about the kids. We're here once again for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital and any of your donations that are received before the end of the stream are going to be sent off to the uh, St. Jude's. And uh, like we said before, any, any amount helps. Do it for the kids. Do it for the kids. <laughs> and with that, what an incredible, incredible tournament. I just want to thank you all so much. You've made this uh, a, a moment to remember for us. <laughs> and, and, and we hope to see you again at the next Eagle Rockets Overwatch tournament. Thanks, and stay unsalty, my friends.